हे हॅलो एवरीवन माय नेम इज रवींद्र अँड आय वेलकम यू टू माय यूट्यूब चॅनल इन दिस व्हिडिओ वी आर सिंग हाऊ टू जनरेट क्यू आर कोड बाय युजिंग पॉवर ऑटोमेट इट इज कम्प्लिटली फ्री फॉर क्रिएटिंग द क्यू आर कोड्स ओके बाय युजिंग पॉवर ऑटोमेट वी आर नॉट युजिंग एनी थर्ड पार्टी कनेक्टर अँड ऑल्सो दॅट क्यू आर कोड वी स्टोर इन द शेअर पॉईंट अटॅचमेंट अँड सेंड इट ऑन द आउटलुक लेट सी द प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट वॉट प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट वी हॅव so the problem statement is automatically we have to generate a unique qr code based on the newly created records save the generated qr code as an image file or we can be save in the attachments as well and also send an outlook email notification to the current recipient okay to the any user or anyone in the email body so let's go and let's i showcase you how it's work so let's i create a new record let's provide the name ravindra my roll number is 01 division is a and year is 2025 and let's click on the save here now let's wait for a couple of second and let's see we receive an outlook email or not so let's i refresh do the doing the hard refresh here so this is the old one okay at two it is near around four o'clock now let's do one more time hard refresh so you can see we receive an one qr code okay on our outlook as a embedded so this qr code we receive and the image of the name of that qr code let's see in the sharepoint attachment what we are getting okay so if i click on this record and click on the edit so attachment also we can able to see the first one sorry so i click on the first one and i able to see the attachment also the same qr code so you can scan this and perform any operation that you have to perform the many use cases of this um, system you have okay so you can be followed so let's i go to the make dot power automate and let's create an power automate flow i giving power on a flow name as a qr code generator and send using trigger as an automated trigger whenever new sharepoint item is created and let's click on the create here let's provide the valid connections here let's i give the site address power apps project list name we can give the student information as the list name and let's add the second connection now okay so to for generate the qr code okay we have one website that is quick chart io so this website we will take the help to generate the qr codes okay so if i go and click on the qr code we have the url here okay https quickchart.io qr question mark text and here we can be pass the any dynamic text here okay let's i remove the margin size okay and let's i copy this qr code okay control c and let's open this in the new tab can see we get an qr code so same website uh, same url we need okay so let's i copy this url up to the text and going to the flows in onedrive we have an action okay download or upload a file by using a url so we'll take the help of that let's go to onedrive and use this action upload file from url let's sign in for the to this connection so this is personal onedrive action is added that's why not able to authenticate so let's add the original one and rename this one so you can all understand let's provide here the url okay quickchart.io text equal to let's pass the dynamic content here 
dynamic content i need the title i need the roll number i need the division and the year as well so on the basis of this my file should be generated and the path will give the same uh, root path here okay and copying the text here so the file name be same as our one and overwrite here we will click as a yes if any existing file is present there we will overwrite that the name of the file is always be unique in this case because row number is an unique identifier in this case and uh, let's click on the one more time plus icon and we need the file content okay so let's we pass here file content because we need to store that file content in an attachment so that's why we need the file content so this action we will use here get file content we need to pass an unique identifier from dynamic content we will select the id from the upload file url <laughs> then we will use here add attachment action to the share point okay this action we will use here so let's select here add attachment action of our share point so we can add this file as an attachment here okay. let's provide the site address okay site address is power as project and the list name is student information id it is the same that we are created so let's see pass here file name is same that we are created for upload file okay display name and file content is we are getting from the file content here okay and let's pass it here then we will use and send an email action here send an email to send an email to the current user we'll use this action send an email v2 let's provide the address here okay if i click on this plus icon use dynamic content from the dynamic content we will provide the here okay we will use the created by email address here okay subject is qr code and let's pass the body here okay so we give qr code so to pass the body as well as we need to pass an image as well so for that purpose what we will do here in the power automate flow okay we will use a base 64 okay so let's i directly use the code and let's i explain you okay so we pass the body here okay so do style tag is used to align this text to the center one okay if you see in my outlook so these all thing are in center so for that purpose we use this one okay then uh, we have the color okay so color for color purpose i use a rst s2 style tag okay and to embed the image in our power out outlook we use our data image slash png then we use our base 64 okay and going to the power effects here okay simply type here base 64 okay brackets in the dynamic content here file content so this path so this base 64 content you have to pass and first the same here image name just pass here the image name okay if you don't need this just remove this tag okay because we just want to work with the qr code so this is not needed and the importance you can be set okay to the high or anything according to the your perspective so let's i go and go going one step back and turning off my old flow okay as it is saving so meantime i just turn off my old flow
I should not receive the two emails. So this flow is saved now. Okay, let's click on the test here manually. Test. Let's perform the starting action. So starting action is creating the new record here. Okay, so let's add an item. So in the capital I use here, okay, my name, and let's pass your roll number as 44. Division is B, and air is 20, 25. Attachment it will be auto add. Let's click on the save. So it is saved. Let's we go to our Power Automate flow, and see, seeing, let's see, it is working fine or not, okay. So, so friends you can see our flows run successfully and also we receive an email so let's we go and see an email here importance is also high okay and qr code we generate here and the name also we remove this time okay that is not needed so one more part we need to do so this file is currently if you see it is stored in the one drive okay ravindra bb25 here okay so this one is store here but we don't need this one okay so let's we go and add one more action for the delete purpose as well and if i go and see in the attachment one okay to this one so i click on the edit let's first select the record and click on the edit here So attachment is also added, you can be seen. So in the power automate flow, let's click on the here edit. Okay. And also in the add upload file from URL, we will give the PNG as an extension here. Okay. So we can also view that in the OneDrive. Okay. And also at the end, we will use here delete file action of OneDrive business. And let's simply pass a unique identifier or ID that we are getting from the here. And let's click on the save. So this entire flow is completed now. And also the use case completely with the problem solution is also present in the block. So this block is available in the description box there also you can be view and if you have any question you can be asked anywhere keep learning keep growing keep exploring have a nice day to all.